park piers and filling neighborhoods with calf high water after the storm caused major damage in Florida. Ian's maximum sustained winds were 85 miles per hour when it came ashore and battered the state with damaging winds, heavy rain and storm surge. came ashore near Georgetown with much weaker winds than when it crossed Florida's Gulf Coast on Wednesday. In Myrtle Beach, waves were pushing against the city's boardwalk tourist area, flowing over where thousands of tourists typically filled the wide sandy stretch. Online cameras showed seawater filling neighborhoods and garden city to calf level. 